Good day, my name is Alice and welcome to the Brief Bulletin. Matobo villagers have expressed outrage over an ultimatum issued by their headman, Chief Maitna, to pay outstanding school fees at Mambale Primary School or face livestock seizure. According to reports, a meeting was held last week where parents with outstanding fees were given until July 29, 2024, to settle their accounts. A villager alleges they were instructed to pay a 300 to the school by the specified date and those who fail to comply will be visited by a chief's messenger, incurring an additional 20 US dollar fee. The number of people killed in landslides in southern Ethiopia has risen to at least 146, local officials have said. Two incidents are thought to have occurred on Sunday evening and Monday morning, after heavy rains in a remote mountainous area of the Gopher Zone. Meska Metku, the general administrator of the Gopher Zone, said women, children, and police officers were among the casualties. The local authorities said the search for survivors was continuing vigorously, but that the death toll could yet increase. Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has blamed the country's deadly turmoil on the two opposition parties, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party and the Jamaat Islami, saying she was forced to impose a curfew for public safety. Her remarks came a day after Bangladesh's top court overturned most of the government job quotas, which had prompted weeks of violent confrontations across the country. More than 150 people have been died in conflicts between protesters and police, and the marches have developed into demands for Ms. Hasina's resignation. And now over to Vusi for the weather report. That concludes the brief bulletin. My name is Alice. Have a good day.